Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Lori and this is episode four of the self-discipline series and this is one that people ask me about a lot and that is impulsivity. So impulsivity is like the doom of self-discipline. Okay, think of it as more of like self-sabotage but it's, it's safe to say like I have really bad adult ADHD and things like that. So most people who um, are trying to distract or you're just, you're like going constantly, you're like, I need this right now. I want this right now. This is where it's, yes, it's patience too, but impulsivity is a little bit different. So I want you to think of impulsivity as the dopamine hit. Okay. So you go out and you do some, on, you know, retail therapy. We've heard of retail therapy. Many of us have done it multiple times. I, um, and it's because you're looking for that instant fix. This is going to be across the board, not just with self-discipline, but with, um, setting realistic goals, realistic expectations. Because again, right, that's why people do crash diets. That's why people, um, do a whole bunch of things because they're looking for that fast, instant uh, gratification. And that's never gonna serve you. That will never help your self-discipline. So to be disciplined is to say, wow, I really want that. Not I need it, I want it, right? Because most things we say we need, we don't need. We want them. And she's like, I really, really, really want this. Well, how many times have I turned around and bought something because it was there? It was in the impulse aisle. That's why it's literally called the impulse section by the groceries in the grocery store or anywhere, Target or whatever. You know, you get there where all the gum is and then it's got like all the magazines right there and there'll be like gift cards. And it's like, you're sitting there and then all of a sudden you're like, oh man, I need a gift card for next month. Oh, well, sometimes you're like, oh, it's convenient. And it is convenient, but it's also called an impulse section for a reason. So the way that works, right, is your dopamine and oxytocin and all that stuff, like these are all like happy things. These are the things that we like crave. That's why we want that, that happy, right? So if you think about it, you buy something, you're happy. Some people will immediately go into buyer's remorse. So now that high was short. Now you go here, then you go into self-loathing, which listen, if you bought it, you bought it. Accept it, love it, and appreciate it. If you want to flip it, flip it. You want to repurpose it, repurpose it. It's fine if you want to return it. But at the end of the day, don't sit there and beat yourself up. Know your why. So what do you do with the self-discipline? A, take away as best as you can. It's not always possible when we live in a world of like social media and like 24 seven news, but like take away some of those temptations. Now I'd be lying to you if I didn't say like every time I'm like, I need this, I'll get it on Amazon, but I'm doing it intentionally. So now is the time of the year. I'm recording this in case you see this sometime in the summer. I'm recording this close to like, it's in November. So it's closer to our Christmas holiday and, and gift giving and all of that stuff. When you're sitting in an impulsive space, there's a few things that's happening. You're not allowing yourself to do the work. So it's not going to be sustainable, right? So if I, right now you said, I want to lose 30 pounds and I did bam, magically had you lose 30 pounds. I, we haven't addressed the situation that a, why do you want to lose 30 pounds? I hope it's not just for aesthetics. I hope it's because you want to feel better. And if you look better, that's great, but that's secondary. Like we need to know the why. So this is why if you go back through all of these videos, everything is going to make like come together. It's going to be cohesive. But when you go into an impulsive buy, you have to tell yourself what you're doing. You're giving yourself an instant dopamine hit. No, hard pass, right? So if you're going to buy it, buy it because you have intentions on using it. Don't buy it. This is, this is me telling you, telling myself, um, be careful of buying things that are just on sale if you don't need them. Now I am that person who's very much is like real, uh, real estate. No, definitely not that retail where I, you know, now I look on racks on things that are like 70% off from summer because I'm always like a season ahead behind whatever you want to say. So like I've, I've got a lot of like winter stuff that I need, that I needed, that I really needed because I was running out of sweaters. And I got a lot of those in the summer for like super cheap. So that's not really an impulse buy. It's something me knowing where I am. And then I'm trying to do that whole declutter as I buy, I try to purge, right? So you have to know your why. So when you find yourself being impulsive, buying new cars, did that for a while. Um, by, uh, changing your hair color, uh, cutting your hair off, uh, which I don't mind doing cause hair to me grows back. And my hair was super short, like Halle Berry for like many years. And so to me, hair is just hair. But I think 
for so many people, you're looking for that instant gratification. So when it comes to self-discipline, this means, doesn't mean you have to uh, punish yourself. I also want to be careful in that. Like, I don't want you to think that the opposite of impulsivity is punishment because no, no, no. I want you to still be able to get the things that you want to get because as I tell people this all the time, if all you did was work, come home, work, come home, pay bills, work, come home, pay bills, you're going to be a really angry person. You really are going to be an angry person. If you never take a vacation, like you have the money, but you're like, I got to save money, save money, save money. I can't spend money. My money fear, my money fear. You are going to be a absolute prisoner to that money. So now suddenly you can have $80 million in the bank, but if you never do anything with it, you're literally imprisoning yourself. That's the opposite. So you do have to like go and splurge sometimes and have a good time and embrace it and feel good about it. But do so disciplinely. You know, I always say, you know, like if you're on some kind of a journey of, of decluttering, right? And you start decluttering, give yourself a thing that says, hey, you know what? In a month, if I can get this done, it's a reward system. Your brain works on dopamine and reward systems. Hey, if I can, if I can declutter the closet in a month, I'm going to paint the closet a really pretty color. Or I'm going to get you know what, I'm gonna splurge a little bit and get me a different jewelry box, something that's really cute. So something that can still serve a purpose, but not just to have to have, but give yourself a reward. I know a lot of times when people start like working out and things like that, I always say, okay, great. Let's not put it on weight. I don't care how much weight you lose or gain, but if you're consistent with showing up for yourself and really giving yourself that that like, you know, fitness um, um, commitment and you're showing up and then you're like, hey, you know what? I really wanted those sneakers. Good, then go get the sneakers, but make it a reward system. Hey, if you show up to the gym 10 times in however long of a period of time, then I show myself I'm dedicated, so I'm gonna reward myself. But something that's gonna benefit you, it doesn't always have to be a food reward or even a clothing or anything that you're spending money on. Like I said, you can reward yourself by going to a new park. You can reward yourself by watching a new show. You can reward yourself by whatever. But you gotta remember your brain does want that. So when you go into impulsivity, you want to hurry up and break up with somebody. We want to step out because those after those six months of that, mm, oh my God, the relationship's so amazing. And it starts going into normalcy. Because I'm sorry, true love isn't supposed to make your heart go pitter patter. That's infatuation. That's not consistent. That's not what we goal for. That might be your instant attraction. But your life isn't going to live in this relationship off of infatuation. No, those butterflies are going to go away. You're going to have real life. You better have a lot more substance in your relationship than just an attraction because that will eventually go away. I mean, just because it just becomes normal. Like you have some people have kids, you have jobs, you have real life, you have things that come up. And so that's what I'm saying. See, real love isn't that. Real love is confident and comfortable. It's not up, it's not down, it's neutral. It's great. That's consistent. So you have to be careful and remember, what are you trying to chase to fill? Because impulsivity also comes when you're lacking something within yourself that you think something externally will give you. Like I said, definitely not judging. Your girl likes her some shopping, but now I do so differently. Now I do so and I'm immersive in it. I like to feel the texture. I have to look at it, even though it's on sale. Do I really want it? Eh, yeah, maybe, but do I really, I mean, is it gonna serve a purpose for me? No, is it gonna take up more space? Yes. Okay, much as I would like it, hey, discipline, walk away. Because that money can better me, maybe it's me going on a vacation, maybe it's me saving towards something like I saved for my pool for six and a half years. Maybe that's what it is. But you have to be clear as to your why and realize that a lot of the impulsivity is of, I want instant gratification or I want this and it's time for me to jump out of this relationship because it's kind of boring. Well, yeah, welcome to the world of being in a relationship that's called life. You're not just going to be jet setting across the world and everybody's going to be like, I'm so in love with you. Because the moment somebody says you're my everything or if somebody's everything, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's the biggest red flag for me. Right? I always tell my clients that and as well as myself, and I never would have done that. Like if somebody's coming in hot and heavy and you're their everything and they need to be up with you 24 seven, hard pass, hard pass. And so then your impulsivity goes, oh my God, this feels so good. That's when you go into gaslighting and everything. Go out and listen to the Patreon on that. But it's important that you understand where the impulsivities come from and the why. And the why is just getting that instant like pleasure. It's just a pleasure that you get. And then it's short lived, right? It's a high, I feel so good. I feel so good. And then, yeah, I'm kind of bored now. 
And that's why you see people like job hop a lot. Sometimes that's not the only reason. Also anxieties, depressions, but like they'll job hop or they'll um, move frequently or they'll get in multiple relationships, like different relationships because they like that instant hit. Go on a crash diet, they lose 10 pounds the first week. That'd be alarming in the big way, but they lose 10 pounds the first week and they're like, oh my God. And then they plateau and they're like, oh my God. You know what I mean? So I want you to be very clear in the impulsivity. So the next time you go to be impulsive, ask yourself what it is you're trying to fill because you're trying to fill a void with something else that only you can fill. That might be healing your stuff. That might be accepting that, hey, you know what? Just because you want it doesn't mean that you actually need it. Okay, so that's the wrap on impulsivity.